Hi, I'm Russell Dean, Town Manager for Exeter, New Hampshire. In the spring of 2017, the Town of Exeter began construction on a significant upgrade to our wastewater treatment facility. This was the largest and most expensive capital project in town history, estimated to cost $53 million. It involved replacement of the facility itself, force mains, and increasing the size of the system's main pump station. The plan upgrade was an Environmental Protection Agency mandated action required to address high nitrogen levels present in wastewater discharged into the Squamscott River after it had completed processing in the town's dated lagoon-type treatment facility. The discharged wastewater travels northward through the ecologically sensitive Great Bay before reaching the Atlantic Ocean at Portsmouth Harbor. The plant construction would be the second state or federally mandated project in rapid succession that the town was required to implement involving the health and appearance of the main river that flows through Exeter. Contractors for the town of Exeter completed the removal of the Great Dam from the Exeter River and Squamscott River intersection a mere eight months prior to the start of the treatment plant construction. The dam was prominently located and highly visible from the Eastern Gateway entrance to Exeter's downtown business district. Restaurants and businesses lined the banks along this section of the river, and the potential change in appearance was an issue of concern for both these business owners and numerous Exeter residents. Fortunately, the dam removal was a great success in terms of restoring the river to its original healthy flow while creating a new and attractive riverfront appearance. The wastewater treatment facility upgrade project also involved a scenic and frequently visited section of the Squamscott River. Starting in town at the main pumping station located along scenic Swayze Parkway and running a distance of one mile along the river's edge before reaching the treatment facility. The project also created a disruption to the town's Swayze Park area, home to numerous events, festivals, concerts, and other community recreational activities. The road along Swayze Park and the road to the treatment plant remained closed to vehicular traffic for extended periods of time while the sidewalks along the river remained open throughout the project. The wastewater treatment facility construction is on schedule and it is anticipated to be fully complete by the spring of 2020. Hello. I am Jennifer Perry, Director of Public Works for the Town of Exeter. I'm proud to report that our team of contractors, design engineers, and town personnel has accomplished all major construction milestones and that the new wastewater treatment facility is fully operational. Testing of the treated wastewater has confirmed that we have significantly reduced the amount of nitrogen that we discharge to the Squamscott River and Great Bay downstream. The wastewater treatment facility upgrade project was implemented using a scheduled three-phase construction plan. Phasing of the project was undertaken to expedite the project, allowing multiple contractors to work on different aspects of the project at the same time. Also, breaking this large project, which is to date the largest project the town of Exeter has ever completed, into smaller contracts enabled contractors from New Hampshire and Massachusetts to competitively bid and win these contracts. The phased implementation also minimized disruption to vehicular traffic along the two major roadways impacted by construction activities, Swayze Parkway and Route 85, also known as Newfields Road. And the length of time community activities would be suspended in the park. Phase one construction activities began in the spring of 2017 and have run continuously to this point. Substantial completion will be in December of 2019 and final completion in the spring of 2020. Phase one operations included all construction activities that occurred on the site of the original wastewater treatment plant, including removal of sludge from one of the old lagoons, site work, piping, tanks, buildings, and all wastewater treatment processes. The second phase of construction commenced in January of 2018. This phase involved the demolition and reconstruction of the main sewer pumping station, 
as well as the installation of the two force main sewer pipes that ran through Swayze Parkway. Phase three construction started in June 2019. This contract essentially connected the previously installed sewer force mains in Swayze Park to the wastewater treatment facility. This work included the closure of Newfields Road to allow installation of the two sewer force mains, a new water main, and drainage improvements in Newfields Road. Unitil also replaced gas utilities in the roadway. After all utility work was completed, the roadway was restored and paved. This project was completed a month ahead of schedule, which allowed for the early restoration of traffic on Newfields Road. I would like to express my sincere thanks to all who worked on this monumental town project, the support of the voters who made this project happen, and the patience of our neighbors and the traveling public during construction. Also, the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services and New Hampshire Department of Transportation have been supportive with funding. The residents of Exeter should be proud of the successful project that is making improvements to the waters of the Squamscott River and Great Bay. My name is Matt Berube. I work for the town of Exeter, New Hampshire as the water sewer manager. Severino Trucking Company was the first subcontractor to begin work on the site of the new wastewater treatment facility. They had the enormous task of contouring the terrain to the exact grade that would accommodate the nine completely new structures that were scheduled to be erected at the Town of Exeter Public Work Complex. The work involved a major excavation to accommodate the subgrade, an effort that involved the clearing and excavation of over nine acres of material. Part of the initial construction was the pouring of two building foundations, three clarifier tank base pads, and the aeration tank base platform. This was all in preparation for what would be the most visibly transformative construction event of the entire wastewater treatment facility project. Over the course of just a few short weeks in October of 2017, Dutchland Incorporated changed what at the time looked like a miniature version of the Kennedy Space Station, complete with three mini rocket launching pads, into a recognizable wastewater treatment facility. The installation was performed like a finely choreographed ballet. Over a hundred prefabricated, pre-stressed, post-tension concrete slabs were trucked over 335 miles from Gap, Pennsylvania to Exeter, New Hampshire. Each unique piece had to arrive in a specific order and within minutes of each other for this engineering jigsaw puzzle to come together in a uniform and cost-efficient manner. Concrete floors were poured on two of the new buildings while the clarifier and aeration tanks were being assembled. This would allow construction to continue on these structures during the winter months. January of 2018 marked the beginning of Phase 2 construction. The demolition and reconstruction of the main sewer pump station began after temporary exterior bypass pumps were installed to replace the existing main station pumps and building. Underground sewer mains were installed the length of Swayze Park as part of the main pump station upgrade. Work on the new town pump station 
continued unabated for 18 months until its completion the summer of 2019. The return of warmer weather in the spring of 2018 brought with it a rush of construction activity back at the wastewater treatment facility site. Visible signs of progress this season included the first roof installation on one of the newly constructed buildings and the start of the installation of the mechanical units in the secondary clarifier tanks. Work on the aeration tank electrical wiring and the installment of the larger process pipes and controls kicked into high gear this spring as well. In August 2018, the main sewer lines were installed from the wastewater treatment facility entrance to the Headworks building. Another visible sign of progress occurred in October of 2018 with the final road grading in preparation for the first of three scheduled paving operations. The first course of paving was performed over two days and this completed the major exterior construction activities for the 2018 season. With the return of winter, construction activity shifted indoors to the installation of the interior equipment, pumps, motors, control panels, plumbing, wiring, and the monitoring and testing equipment necessary to carry out the complex process of converting raw sewage and wastewater into clean, safe wastewater effluent for discharge back into the environment. When spring returned, Installation of the numerous aerator heads and associated piping began in earnest, and it was one of the final steps to complete before the process of treating sewage could begin. This was a complex installment, as the aeration tanks actually perform four separate steps in the process of sewage treatment in different sections within the tank. Once all the aeration vents were in place, the facility started to receive influent flow using the new sewage treatment operations in June 2019. Construction to redesign and enlarge the disinfection building also began in the spring of 2019 and was completed in the fall. In June, work began to bury the main sewer lines in a new water main under Newfields Road. This marked the start of phase three of the construction plan and required the closing of Newfields Road to all but local residential traffic for several months. The wastewater treatment facility came online incrementally during June of 2019 and was fully operational by the end of July. Newfields Road was paved in the month of October 2019, marking the last major step in the wastewater treatment facility upgrade project. Some minor landscaping and cleanup activities are scheduled to occur during the spring of 2020 with the completion of the paving of Newfields Road. The wastewater treatment facility upgrade project had all major milestones completed. On the left, you are looking at a jar of discharged water from the old treatment facility. On the right is a current jar of discharged water from the new treatment facility. Visually, the change is obvious, but more importantly, chemical testing has determined that the quality of the discharge water from the new facility has significantly reduced the nitrogen concentrations from historical discharge levels. Thank you to our engineering firm, Wright Pierce. Thank you to Apex Construction Incorporated and each of their subcontractors. Thank you to the Phase Two contractor, T. Buck Construction Incorporated. Thank you to the Phase 3 contractor, J.A. Polito & Sons. All the contractors performed diligently throughout each phase of construction.